Welcome to Stuff They Didn't Teach Me in Sunday School. It's a good idea for us men to choose wisely in terms of who we're going to mess with. I remember as a kid thinking it would be a really cool idea to throw rocks at a wasp nest. We were having a blast until we hit the wasp nest. We would not calculated who we were messing with, or in this case, what we were messing with. Biblically, it's probably a good idea to calculate who you're messing with, especially when you mess with the lone daughter of a family with 12 sons and one daughter. And especially when that family is fairly dysfunctional to start with. As you recall, Jacob had 12 sons, and he had one daughter by the name of Dinah. Chapter 34 of Genesis, Dinah goes to town one evening, and there is accosted by a young man by the name of Shechem. She is either seduced or raped. The brothers find out about it. As you might guess, the 12 brothers are irate. But Shechem sends his dad to go to the family and ask for the hand of Dinah. The brothers are rather devious, and they come up with a plan. And they said, you know, if you really want to marry our women, or at least Dinah, there are some things that we Hebrews require that you would do. And one of those is that you have to be circumcised. Not just you, Shechem, but all the men in the village need to be circumcised. So probably not being the brightest lights in the area or the sharpest knives in the drawer, they agreed. They could marry the Hebrew wives if they would all get circumcised. And so the whole city got circumcised. And the story goes like this. When you get to chapter 34, verse 24, And all who went out of the gate of his city hearkened to Hamor and his son Shechem, and every male was circumcised, all who went out of the gate of this city. <laughs> you see this coming? On the third day, when they were sore, two of the sons of Jacob, Simeon and Levi, Dinah's brothers, took their swords and came upon the city unawares and killed all the males. Apparently you don't fight well three days after your circumcision. They slew Hamor and his son Shechem with the sword, and took Dinah out of Shechem's house and went away. And the sons of Jacob came upon the slain, the other ten, and plundered the city because their sister had been defiled. They took their flocks, their herds, their asses, and whatever was in the city and in the field, all the wealth, all their little ones, and their wives, and all that was in the houses, and they captured and made them their prey. It doesn't pay to mess with the lone daughter of a family with twelve sons. This dysfunctional family, this family that does such radical, bizarre, uh, in this case, bloody things, would still be the family in which God would bring about his promises to Abraham. And finally, the family in which he would bring about his son, Jesus Christ, our Savior.